started. Hello and welcome to the live stream, whether you are joining live with me now or if you're catching us on the replay. So in this live stream, I'm going to be walking you through, pardon me, how to schedule your post, Instagram post in Canva. So this is a new feature that they have specifically for Instagram and I'm going to walk you through how to do it. It's such a time saver. It's going to save you the hassle of designing it, downloading it to your phone, uploading it to Instagram, whatever it is. So I'm going to show you how to do it in a couple of clicks. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sarah Nguyen and I help you build your business using video on social media with ease. Now, whether you're live with us now or if you're catching the replay, please drop a question if you have any in the comments or in the chat and I'll get to them at the end of the live stream. And as usual, links to everything that I talk about will be in the description. So I'm going to go straight to the chase and we're going to talk about how to to schedule your Instagram post in Canva. And let's go over and I'm, I'm going to walk you through how this all happens within Canva now. So this feature I have to I have to say is a feature of Canva Pro, so the paid version of Canva. But if you check out the link in the description, you'll see that there is a special link to a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro. So you can try this out, see if you like it. And I know you're gonna love it. This is such a time saver and this is how it all happens. So within Canva, once you've designed your actual Instagram post, so this is an example of one that I have designed now, instead of the old process where you have to download the image, upload it to your phone or upload it to Facebook Creator Studio for it to go to Instagram, what you can do now is you can schedule it directly within Canva. So within Canva, you can already like post it directly to Instagram, but now you can schedule it so that you can plan out your social media posts and, and not have to be on social media all the time, but still have it, you know, go, go through and, and happen for you. So I really love this feature and it's not only not only can you schedule to Instagram, but you can also schedule to other social media platforms as well. So you can schedule to Instagram, you can schedule to Facebook, you can schedule to Twitter, Pinterest, um, Slack, you can schedule to Slack, Tumblr. So there's a bunch of social media platforms that you can actually schedule to. So there are two ways to do this. And the first way to do it is within the Canva ed editor that you see here. So this is, you've created your design, it's looking beautiful, you've added everything and you're ready to go. So how do you schedule it? Let me walk you through. So in the top right hand corner, you select the three dots here. And then you'll see there is this schedule icon here, right? And if it doesn't appear here, all you would type is schedule and then it would appear there. So you would select this schedule icon and then it gives you a date, the option to pick a date up here in this actual calendar and then a time. So I want this to go on um, how to... I just did this, how to customize your YouTube channel live stream. Today is Sunday. I want this to go on Tuesday at, let's put it at 5 a.m. because I'm not going to wake up live. Canva's going to do it for me. And then after you've selected the date and the time, um, you can tell by hovering over this time icon, the actual time that it will be. So this is Australian time. So it will go 5 a.m. Australian time, which is a time that I am not awake. And then you select next. And then this will allow you to then choose a destination, okay? So if I select this drop down, I've already connected these accounts. So I've already, already connected my Twitter account, my Instagram account and my Facebook page. And if you don't see it here because you haven't connected it yet, you would simply click schedule two and this will open up the options for you to um, choose that social media network or choose that platform that you want to schedule it to. And you have to click on it. You have to allow all the permissions and follow the prompts. This can be a little bit fiddly because you know, it's just the way that it works with Facebook and Instagram and connecting these things. Follow the prompts. Um, if you're still not seeing it, log out and log back, log back in. And I find that that for the most part solves it. So you would click on the social media platform that you want to add. So for example, Pinterest, um, you would select, select you know, connect. 
Um, and then it will have the prompts as you see here where you need to log in and you need to allow the permission. So you need to allow all the permissions in order for um, Canva to be able to schedule, via, schedule to that social media network. So let's go back now. So I'm going to put that at 5 a.m. Click next. So I'm going to choose for this to schedule at on Tuesday, the 11th of May at 5 a.m. on my Instagram. And because this has movement here, you can see it says MP4 video, right? But if I don't want it to be uh, animated and use the animations, I can choose JPEG and it will just be a static image. So you get to choose whether you want it to be animated or not if you have the actual animations within your um, post itself. So then I can also type a, um, just add my captions so I get to add my emojis I get to add my captions I get to you know write the text and add it all here so I'm going to type just some text here latest video now on the channel link in bio right and then I'm going to I can I either have the option to save it as a draft and come back if you know I need to come back to it because something's happened or I can select schedule post and it's doing its thing Canva, Canva, <laughs> and it's getting ready to schedule it. And I'm going to show you where you can then find it. Okay. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to play some hold music as we wait for Canva to prepare the design. There's a couple of animations in it so it takes a little bit longer when it's like a video file or an animation file but um as you can see it's just doing its thing and now you can see here your canva like ooh party um it's been scheduled right so with this there are a couple things that you can do from here you can go to the content planner or you can make a copy of this design because i've currently scheduled it to instagram right and let's say i want that exact same one to schedule to facebook as well i would simply click on make a copy and it would open a copy of this literally you know it's a copy because it says copy then i can schedule it to facebook so that's a couple of clicks where i'm able to schedule it to instagram and then i want the same one to go out to facebook that's how you would do it the other option is for you to go to the content planner right so the content planner if you go to home and content planner this would show all of your past and all of the upcoming posts and this allows you to do a couple of things right so you can um you can change the actual post so let's just say that this one's scheduled for 5 a.m on the 11th of may and i'm like oh actually i have to put something else that day i want to move it you can move it from the content planner by dragging it to the day that you want it to move and it has automatically updated it and that's when it will go. You're like, oh, so that makes it really easy. And the other thing is like, as you can see on the 10th of May here, I've got a post going to Facebook because it has that little Facebook icon and I've got a post going to Instagram on the same day, right? So I can see everything that's happening as well as which social media platform I've got them scheduled to. Now let's just say um, I've got this post going out on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I can click on it and then I get a preview of what it actually is and I can make changes to it. It's like, oh no, I've got a typo in it. That, was not, that actually was not planned, but it's actually perfect. So. <laughs> I can make the changes to the actual post and then I can save and schedule it. So if, you, if you're going through the content planner and you see like me that you've got a little typo or something, you can make changes to the text of it and then you can click save and schedule and it will update it for you. So it's not the end of the world. If you've scheduled something and then you need to go back and make changes, you can do that within the content planner. So that's really handy, right? So you can view everything that's coming up or and as well as everything that's already gone. You can see at a glance which social media platforms you've scheduled to. Um, you can also from the content planner, you can, um, if you, let's just say that, okay, you're looking at your calendar and you're like, ooh, all right, there's, um, 
you know, it's a little bit empty the next week. I'm ready to start adding something specifically on this date. If you hover over the date in the corner, you'll see there's this plus icon and then you can schedule it directly from the content planner. So I'm going to go and click on that. And then it will bring up my recent um, designs that I've got, or I can pick a template and start designing straight away. So let's just say that I don't have anything ready yet and I want to design. Um, I can pick a template from here or I can select create design. You ask me which one I want. So I'm going to go to animated social media. I go ahead and I make all of the, you know, I choose the template, you know, and then I will just schedule it once again. Right. And it's already got that date that I picked from the content planner in here. But if that's not the date, then I can just change it. If, that, if that's not the date that I want, I can actually change it. So it makes everything easy because you're not downloading and re-uploading. And if you've already got Canva Pro um, or if you've already got Canva, then it kind of saves you all these extra little steps. And I think like the more time that we can save in these little actions, the better that it will actually be. So you're able to schedule everything from one place, um, have a look at all of your content within the content planner, move them around, edit them, and then even schedule them from the content planner as well. So I think like this is like one of the really exciting features about Canva and really excited to see them bring Instagram into the play. So the content plan has been around for a little bit of a while, but the addition of being able to schedule directly for Instagram is a new one. So I thought I'd show you that feature today. So there are a couple of other things that I want to talk about before I get to um, all of your questions. So um, let's talk about a couple of things. When it comes to being able to schedule to Instagram, there are a couple, a couple of rules. So in order to make it work, you do need to have an Instagram business account. It can't be a creator account. It can't be a personal account. It's not going to work. I've got a link in the description, which talks about the specific, I guess, rules and things that you need to know in order to make it work. You've also, you also need to make sure that you've connected your Insta, Instagram account to your Facebook page. And yes, I'm talking about Facebook page. They're not Facebook profile. There are different things. So you need to have all these little things in place. And this is not a Canva thing. This is a Facebook thing, right? In order to make it work, you have to have a Facebook business profile, a Facebook business page and connect your Instagram account. So there are a couple of little fiddly things that once you sorted that all out, you'll be able to um, schedule to Instagram as well as other social media platforms as well. So I'm going to just jump to the questions now because I can see that we've got a couple. Let's just have a look. Um, going green mom. Hey, nice to see you on the live stream. Thanks for joining us. Hey, beauty queen, Dennis. All right, let's check out the questions. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. Um, can you schedule lives too? So um, with this, do you mean schedule a recorded video to go live? So no, you can't schedule um, a video. Well, you can schedule an animated video with Instagram. Let's go back a little bit. With scheduling Instagram post from Canva, you can schedule a static image or you can schedule um, a video, right? So the animated video, as long as it meets the size requirements of Canva, um, those can go, you can schedule those. You can't schedule Instagram stories. So it can only be a post that appears in the Instagram feed. So uh, hopefully that answers that one. Do, 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 do. Um, and then it says, do you manage notifications or does that come from each platform itself? Um, in terms of the live notifications, I'm not sure you're talking about the uh, Canva planner here, but live notifications typically are managed within the platform itself. So um, hopefully that answers that one. So let's talk a little bit about a couple more things about the Instagram scheduler, well, the Canva content planner and the ability to now schedule to, to 
Instagram and other social media platforms as well. Um, I think one of the, the things that when I, you know, saw that they finally released this feature was a great thing was I'm talking about time saving, right? I'm talking about not having to download the file, upload it to Facebook Creator Studio, and then schedule it in one more place. I find it so much easier to be able to go, all right, the design is already happening within Canva. And now I can really easily with a couple of clicks, schedule it, not forget about it, but plan it out. And this also allows me to be like all in one place. You now have a place to design it, a place to schedule it and a place to plan, right? All within the content planner. And then it's not just for Instagram. As I said, it's also for other social media platforms as well. Facebook, Twitter, um, Pinterest, really easy to be able to schedule. I'm also excited to see scheduling to Pinterest, not having to download the images, upload them to Pinterest. I'm like, oh man, that saves so much time. And with this as well, this kind of gets rid of the need to have a, another scheduling tool, right? So this is a scheduling tool that you've already got access to within the Canva design um, software. So that's really exciting. So I hope that this, you found this really useful because I was excited. I hope you're excited as well. Don't forget that in the, you know, if you haven't got the Canva pro version and you want to try this out, there's a 45 day free trial. The usual trial is only 30 days. I'm giving you 45 days. So the link to my free trial is in the description. So try it out, um, see how you like it, connect all of your accounts and, you know, enjoy having post schedule without you manually having to go and do that thumb action to get it going on your actual profile. So that essentially wraps us up for today's live stream. Now, if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't got a copy of it, make sure you grab my social media checklist. So I show you how to get up and running on the major social media platforms so you can start leveraging the power of social to start um, you know, growing your business and building your influence and making more income. So that essentially wraps us up. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really excited as always, and I'll see you in the next live stream. Bye.